Thank you for inviting me to speak at your conference today. As you can see, unfortunately, I can't be there in person because I'm needed here at the House of Commons. But I wanted to send through my very best wishes for your conference through this video link and to say a little about the importance that Her Majesty's Government places on the region. First, I want to recognise the continued support, ambition and innovation that subnational transport bodies, or STBs, can bring to the way we plan transport infrastructure in this country. We at the Department for Transport look to STBs, such as England's Economic Heart Group, to provide leadership on strategic transport issues. We welcome the ability of STBs to speak with one voice on their transport priorities. And I know that EEH's leadership on strategic transport plays an important role in ensuring that the region's transport system meets the expectations of its residents and businesses. The fact that this is the third regional conference, and it is approaching five years since EEH was established, I think demonstrates the commitment of local partners to work collaboratively on issues of genuinely regional significance. In particular, we recognise the value of the work currently being done on the region's transport strategy to prioritise the projects that are needed most to support economic prosperity. And this is why we have prioritised funding to support the delivery of the strategy so that EEH can continue to progress and build upon the good work that has already been achieved to date. Now, a key priority for government within the EEH geography is obviously the Oxford to Cambridge arc, or the Oxcam arc. Now, at the autumn budget 2018, government responded to the National Infrastructure Commission's report on the Oxcam arc, and we reaffirmed the area as a key economic priority. As you know, this is already a unique place, home as it is to cutting-edge research and some of the most productive towns and cities in the country. It contains a rich natural environment, world-leading universities and hundreds of years of history. But the Ark can be even more than this. It has the potential to become a world-class economic hub, attracting the very best talent out there and becoming an even more highly desirable and attractive place, both to live and work. But housing and jobs alone will not give the ARC what it needs to grow. We also need the right infrastructure to make sure communities and businesses are better served and better connected. That includes quality transport links, enabling appropriate utility capacity, digital connectivity, and unlocking the right provision of schools and medical facilities. And this infrastructure will help ensure that growth in the ARC creates strong, healthy and sustainable communities, able to enjoy an enhanced environment and easy access to high quality jobs and services. Well, of course, I am here to talk about transport today by building better rail and road networks, such as East-West Rail and the Expressway, we can unlock economic opportunities for residents of the Ark, giving people more choice about where they live and where they work, and helping to realise the potential of the whole area. The local networks are just as important as the big pieces of infrastructure, if I can put it that way. And that is why we committed to a connectivity study that England's Economic Heart Group will lead with us. And this study will identify options to ensure that places not in the vicinity of the expressway corridor can still benefit from it. It's also important that local Germans use active, uh, sustainable and inclusive transport models 
uh, and modes that enable safe travel for the first and last mile of a user's journeys. Now, I mentioned earlier the outline transport strategy, and today's publication of this key document is a really a major milestone for EEH. It also marks the start of a period of engagement with local partners about these first last mile journeys and how the large transport schemes will benefit local and long distance users to increase the ARC's productivity. Well, I encourage everyone to get involved um, and to have your say in helping shape the transport strategy that will look to 2050. Within that outline strategy, I'm really pleased to see the linkages being made with the government's industrial strategy, uh, which sets out the government's aim to boost productivity and to boost earning power throughout the United Kingdom. I know, ladies and gentlemen, that government has been working closely with local partners to develop their local industrial strategies, and these will very much provide the opportunity for national, regional and local partners across both the public and private sectors to come together around a shared vision. And I look forward to seeing these key documents when they are published this summer. Now moving forward, the ambition that EEH sets out in this outline transport strategy invites you to make a difference. Um, it is the opportunity if you like, for you to start shaping tomorrow, today. Uh, the opportunity for you to be not only advocates of change, but agents of its delivery. And I welcome the publication today of EEH's Freight and Logistics Study. If we are to realise the economic potential of the region, then understanding the needs of businesses is frankly fundamental. This month, I look forward to receiving EEH's prioritised schemes for the major road network and the large local majors programme and their recommendations on their regional evidence base for the first five-year programme at the end of the month. My department will continue to work with EEH to ensure we build on the work underway in support of the transport strategy so that together we can realise the region's economic potential. The ambition you have is clear, as you've set out in the uh, outline transport strategy. You have got a good track record of collaborative working at the regional level. Let us continue that. Uh, together, we can deliver on our shared ambition for the region. Together, we can ensure that residents and businesses alike will realise their potential. Thank you.